Okay, so we have a foil mount installed right here. Um, our T-nuts are all in perfect working condition as you can see. Um, we've had some customers ask us how um, you can change out these T-nuts and put in new ones like these if one were to break or whatever. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to use a Dremel tool to cut a slot at a high angle in here so we can slip the old ones out and the new ones right in. So what I have here is a Dremel bit. It's an engraving bit. It's about um, three and a quarter millimeters or one eighth of an inch um, in diameter. It needs to be at least as thick as the edge of this. This is a little less, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it in there. We're gonna widen it a little bit up and down <clears throat> to kind of make that happen. The higher angle you have like this, the better. While you're cutting, make sure you don't hit the board with the, the bit and make sure that um, you cut each side evenly. I measured halfway between the plate here and made a line so I know where to cut. Um, the best place to put the, the hole is in the middle of the plate. Okay, so make sure to remove all the chunks of material. So we have one done, um, that's kind of it. You may have to um, widen the grooves a little bit with that eighth inch bit to get it out. The old T-nut should slide right out like this. Um, use the bolt to kind of slide them out. One T-nut's out. We're gonna put a brand new one in by putting it on the bolt and then just slide it into the new hole like so. And we're all set. We can repeat this for the other side and we'll have it. One more. Here we are cutting the second groove. If you're using T-nuts that are different than the ones included with the foil mount, you should put them in the slot before you stick the foil mount down. You can also include both sets of T-nuts in the slots at the same time.